How about projecting your textures as a hair system? Let's take this simple set. I will copy the plane, then make it on white color to show the hair clearly. Now go to the particles to add a system on hair type. Let me first turn off the plane emitter from the viewport setting tab. And as usual, we need to set the number and hair length. So figure that out, 10K should do fine. After that to the main thing for this video, go down to the textures tab and hit new. It's a big button, so don't miss it. We can after that name this new texture. Then once you're done, hit the icon on the far right to go to the textures settings. At top, you will see the particle system tag along with the texture name. We also have the type, and you can go through it one by one, however, nothing change while doing that. And that's because we need to change the influence. So go to the influence tab and change the affect from time to hair length. Now we can see something happening on the hair system, and to control it via a specific texture or a logo that we have, you need to go back to the default image or movie type, open it to choose any image you have on your driver, and it should pops up as hair. How easy is that? A couple of things to learn in the texture side before we go back to the hair settings. There are two mapping tabs here. First one from the top, a small sub tab that has the image extension. Here we can leave it on repeat, and with the X, Y values, you'll be able to project it as many time on this surface as you want, or put it on clip for a single projection of the texture. The second mapping tab has the coordinates. Here you have it on generated. Leave it like that if you're on flat plane like this one, however, if you're working with round surface, try the UV type and do simple UV unwrapping to fix your projection. Back to the hair system settings. First, the logo appearance. It still looks empty with 10K for the hair number, so either add more from that field or use the children tab on interpolate to add more to the look. Now the advantage of the children tab is not much here, but if you're going to animate this or use it in a simulation, then go with the children particles cause it reduces the computational power so no crashes. The render amount in the interpolate with 100 as default will appear 10 times more in render so tune it down and if you're on some other work just fix it then put the viewport amount on 1. Now to give this a hair look we need some Brownian value. To get that turn the advanced settings then go to the physics tab. A value of 0.02 to 0.05 should do the trick. One thing to keep this light on your machine is the hair segments value. Put it on two, which is properly the lowest you can get. Unless you're doing close-up shots, then use it on three or four. And that's it. No affiliation with Adidas, by the way, though no one asked. And keep dreaming, guys, cause what life without love. Oh, sorry. Wrong outro. Anyway, stay sharp. Goodbye.